You are watching Junk Wax Genius. It's the channel on YouTube where a grown man opens old baseball cards and talks about it. And today we continue a mini series, kind of a smaller feature series here, where we compare and contrast Topps products against their OPC cousins. We've got 1988 here. 88 Topps, the flagship with 15, it says bubblegum cards, but if you're a subscriber to the channel, as, as I hope you are, uh, you know the truth. They are not made of bubblegum. They're made of cardstock. Do not chew them or chew them at your own risk, I suppose. Uh, so we'll do 88 Tops versus 88 Opeachy. You can uh, kind of see the difference there just in the wrapper themselves. You get uh, the, the Tops and then the, the French uh, produced for, for Canada. Not only French-speaking Canada, but all of Canada, you know. Vancouver, you're included here. You got the OPG too. So uh, let's let's see what the differences are. Maybe we'll get one player who's the same from both packs and uh, and we can really compare and contrast. So let's do the 88 Tops. True Junk Wax, one of the least inspiring sets, in my opinion, of, uh, of the Tops Junk Wax um, production cycle. Just not much excitement in this set. I do feel one card. You can kind of see it. Yeah, it's all bent up miscut you see that that's troubling let's let's see who, who that is oh they're kind of stuck together it was the gum damage terry mcgriff so not miscut just gum damaged and uh out of position all right charlie o'brien wayne tollison dick schofield kurt ford jose cruz kelly gruber john shelby juan nieves John Candelaria, Greg Maddox, all right, saved by Mad Dog, Keith Miller, Odeby McDowell, Brad Havens, and Gary Pettis. All right, we got Greg Maddox out of our pack of 88 tops. Got his first major league shutout in 1987. Congratulations, Greg Maddox. It's before he really took off and became the uh, ace that he would be for the rest of his career. All right. Let's open the 88 Opeachy. So much thinner package here. Fewer cards. You still get the gum though. Bubble gum with cards. And we can see right away some differences here. So not only does Ricky Horton get the gum damage. And we'll go through the cards. Mike Kingery. Fred McGriff. That's cool. Danny Gladden. Vince Coleman, excellent, kind of miscut. I mean, way off center, but PC, not PSA. Jimmy Williams and Ken Howell. All right, so we'll take a look at the backs here. Uh, Fred McGriff, well, we'll start with the fronts. We'll start with the fronts. Little Tops logo there in the bottom left for Greg Maddox. Fred McGriff gets the OPG logo. Otherwise, pretty similar in the, in the styles. But uh, you flip over the backs, and uh, the tops kind of grayish looking, kind of dingy, always looked like it was printed on recycled cardstock. Whereas the uh, the background of the Opeachy, the orange is much brighter, more vivid. The baseballs across the top are whiter. The white border around the stat box is whiter and brighter. I think just generally the contrast of the uh, the black against the brighter white and the uh, the more vivid orange makes it easier to read in general. So uh, there's some differences between uh, 88 Tops and 88 Opeachy. I think we've got 86 left to compare and contrast here on the channel. We'll get to those in the coming days. Meanwhile, please do like, subscribe, leave a comment to Junk Wax Genius. It's the channel on YouTube where we do this kind of thing. We open two packs, we remember some guys, and uh, we, uh, we leave some comments and have some conversations. Thanks for watching Junk Wax Genius.